around Teen A Week for the litmus test, we've been out on the road interviewing people in the music industry about venues and piracy. Uh, we were going to talk about um, piracy. Yeah. So what do you think about that? The way copyright and um, and hence the piracy issues um, came about, I think that age is over. I just think it's a whole new age. So. Um, Whilst I've made money out of copyright and writing songs, I, 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 I don't know what the future is. I, I see this. If you like an artist, show respect to that artist by buying their material so that they can bring more to you. Because guess what? If they don't get enough back, they're going to have a day job and the, the artist you like is going to disappear. It's forced. Um people to think in different ways about how they can create different revenue streams. Um, you know, there's, there's been a lot of revenue lost, but sometimes that can be a good thing because it opens up possibilities and forces people to think differently. I think it's taken a lot of the power away from the bigger record companies and the major labels and given uh, some power to the independent labels and independent bands to, you know, come up with different ways of doing things. If you find art however you find it and you like it, you'll, the money will go to that art somehow. You'll, you'll go and see a gig, you'll, you'll buy a t-shirt, you'll buy the, the, the DVD, whatever. I just think it's, it's a different world and we need to look at it differently personally. That's, that's what I think. You know, whether the bands are producing videos or sound bites or you know, posting on social media, it's a different sort of interaction, you know. So what would you say to a new musician now who's trying to make money, yeah. you know, in the music industry? If you are a young musician or a filmmaker or a writer or an actor or a painter, whatever, if your benchmark is absolute quality, it will grow. It will, it will be sustained. It will, be, uh, it will have a long journey. People will come back to it because they can depend on it. The world has changed in those 40 years and one must adapt to changing situations outside of you. And my adaption is I've taken responsibility for my business uh, on a level that I had never previously done before. I'm managing myself fully. I'm managing this project all the way to Abbey Road and beyond. Uh, take responsibility for your business and, and uh, do, do your business well. but. Most of all, be honest with yourself about your abilities, right? Raise the bar. You only need one song which will change your life. You don't need a hundred okay songs. So maybe you do have to actually work with a real producer, actually think about your, the way you look, your image, your logo, your whole web presence. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made if you actually want what you say you want, which is success. Just wanted to ask your opinion of venues on the coast for playing original music. Yeah. Um, well, there's a, it's a very spread out scene, I think, on the coast. Um, there's a few people doing some great things that are, you know, people like the Rhythm Hut. Um, they've been going for quite a few years now and they've developed quite a nice community themselves. Uh, it's sad to see Lazots go by the wayside recently. Uh, there's been a, a couple that have gone by the wayside, but um, uh, you know, it could always be better. I've never seen venues emptier than they are now. And I, you know, I'm full of ideas as to how that can improve and make more money for those venues, right? And uh, rather than agents propagating a model that is dead, let's wake up to bring new inspiration to the people of our region. I just think it's a paradigm shift. Um, you know, look, quite literally, people don't go out like they used to when, when I was a young guy getting around, but we, we didn't have mobile phones then either. We didn't have computers. We had two channels on TV and there was no other option, but let's get some live music. Um, so, I mean, we need to take that on board, I, I think, you know. Um, I just think, you know, great art finds an audience. What can we create together? No one loses anything. They only gain. Things like the Rhythm Heart are just amazing. They're, they're quite rare and it's a, it's a real treasure trove. Um, I just think you've got to find little pockets like that and build them up and build a fan base and, 
And once you've got a fan base, they'll follow you if you're good. We need a lot more support for local original music outlets here on the Central Coast. Please, it's 2015. Yeah. Let's wake up. Let's start something here on the Central Coast, right? There's plenty of people with plenty of talent. There's no outlet. They're just going to go, right? Central Coast needs to support its local um, uh, industry and the local people who write songs. That's our local culture. Thank <laughs> you.